to my channel. My name is Whitney Wiley and today I'm doing a video like I never typically do. Um, I am doing a food prep video today. So why? Why a food prep video? Well, <laughs> um, I have been just trying to basically get back on track with the way I've been eating. I pretty much have been working out for the last year without too many breaks. I took a quite a few breaks during like the Christmas holidays and New Year's, but um, I'm pretty much still on my workout schedule, but where I lack in motivation is definitely my eating habits. So if you don't know, I am from Houston, Texas, and uh, I grew up eating meat, of course, beef, <laughs> and lots of yummy food. My parents are from Louisiana, so lots of Cajun food. Um, just delicious southern cooking and so it's really difficult for me to move into a vegetarian or extremely difficult to move into a vegan lifestyle but I'm trying to take steps to just get as close as I can to that type of lifestyle because um, eventually I do want to be at that point probably to be honest no time soon um, but <laughs> probably within the next decade for my own health I want to be vegan so yes I have decided to meal prep and that's what this video is going to be about I actually watched Raven Elise's video which I will link down below so you guys can check out her video she actually did a vlog where she did food prep and meal prepping um, I think she's going on like a more strict diet okay sorry my camera just shut off randomly but yes like I was saying um, this video was inspired by Raven Elise's video she did a vlog where she did some food meal prep with her mom who is a chef. Actually, I got all of my ideas for my um, recipes from her and her mom. And I'm gonna be kind of putting my own little twist on some of them. Um, I don't like all the same things that she likes to eat, um, but basically it definitely helped when I looked at her video. I just made a list of like all the different ingredients I wanted to get at the grocery store. And so I knew to pick up all those different things so I could like put the meals together. So they're basically gonna be kind of like hers, but I'm gonna change up a couple things so it fit my taste. So I'm going to be making food for both me and my fiance say crazy enough which by the way I think I'll have a video coming soon about like how that happened because I got engaged this year randomly so crazy so I want to definitely tell this story and explain like how that all happened but anyway I'll be making food for me and my fiance we are both trying to make healthier choices um, we're getting into summer and now is the time to try and you know tighten tighten everything <laughs> um, tone up so yeah definitely the biggest struggle for us is food so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos if you guys do enjoy this comment down below let me know um, what recipe you liked or if you've done meal prep in the past and like what works best for you um, anything like that I'd love to hear your experiences with meal prep and uh, what you're trying to do to make healthy choices for the summer and the spring so I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started let's get to the kitchen it's about to be a mess like a mess y'all don't judge my kitchen because pots are about to be everywhere like I already know I think I'm gonna try to make five different recipes God, and I'm not a cook <laughs> Okay, the first thing I want to show you is these Freshware meal prep lunch boxes. So I actually got this from Raven's video. Her mom was using these as uh, a personal chef and I just picked these up on Amazon. So they were only like $15 for it says a 21 day supply. So and um, yeah, I think these are going to be perfect. They're dishwasher safe and microwave safe and all that stuff. So yay. Okay, so I basically wrote down the recipes of what I'll be doing. I'll be doing a grilled shrimp with Brussels sprouts and brown rice, a shrimp fried rice um, with lots of veggies, a Cajun chicken pasta with very healthy pasta, <laughs> asparagus and Brussels sprouts, salmon um, with a Asian sweet and sour slash soy sauce with broccoli and cauliflower mash, and then chicken fajitas with bell peppers and a black bean corn salsa situation with cilantro lime rice. So that is a lot of food. So pray for me. We're gonna just get started on this and just start tackling things. So I think I'm gonna go one meal at a time. That way I don't lose my mind. Um, I might start roasting all the veggies though in the oven because I feel like that's gonna take a long time. So I'll just start roasting all those because those are gonna just be 
spread out amongst all the dishes. Okay, first up, the veggies. I went ahead and I set the oven to 425, and I'll probably put this in for about 25 minutes. We have the asparagus here, all lined out pretty even and flat. I tried to keep them flat so that they'll roast pretty even, and then I just did the broccoli, and I thought I could put everything, but I'm apparently gonna have to do a second batch with the Brussels, but I'm just going to include some olive oil on this, not too much because olive oil can be very fattening. Um, salt and pepper, and then I just chopped up right now some fresh garlic, so I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top and put that in for 25 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna work on the chicken fajita meal first. So I just got this brown rice that's really easy to microwave, it only takes 90 seconds. Um, I have the lime juice for the cilantro lime rice. It's obviously better to have a lime, but this is all I have in my kitchen. And then I got this cilantro actually, and then this earth balance butter. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this in the rice just to give it a little moisture and flavor and this is a vegan butter. Okay, I just added everything to taste and here is the final result. So I'm just going to spoon some of that into four of these containers. Remember, I'm making it for two people. So I'm gonna do two for each of us and it's gonna go in one of these little small containers and then another veggie is gonna go over here and then the chicken and the grilled peppers will all be there for the fajitas. Yeah, okay, so. Okay, and now Frank's helping me with a black bean, corn, and pico mix. This is gonna go okay. along with the fajitas. We're gonna do our Babe, okay. Uh, <laughs> Keep it looking attractive. Is that this one? All right, that's enough. Okay. That's Holy awesome. moly. I like salsa. I like salsa. Yeah. Right. This is probably gonna be his favorite one, I think. He's all about the Mexican food. Mexican. Mmm, taste it. No, no, it's frozen corn. Okay, so I didn't, I just used um, frozen corn, which mm. will get microwaved, obviously, when you microwave the meal. And then I just picked up some pico de gallo. Okay, now making the fajitas, I'm just putting the chicken in there with some green and red bell peppers, and I'm gonna put some diced onions in soon, too. And then I'm just going to just put some salt and pepper on the chicken, and then maybe I got one of these little, ah. Oh, these little like taco seasoning packs. I think this might be really tasty on the chicken. Okay, so Frank just chopped up the Brussels. We got the Brussels here. And now we're just going to have, we're gonna put a little olive oil, the same thing I did with the other veggies, olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Just a little. Okay. okay. Black pepper. Black pepper. Okay. <laughs> Salt bay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Salt. Salt. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna do garlic powder. Garlic powder. Do it lower. Garlic powder. Ooh, it's a lot of garlic powder. You can do a little more. A little more. Yeah. Okay, and then. We'll put some fresh chopped garlic on top and then throw it in. the chicken pasta. I had this already in the fridge, so I'm gonna use this. Um, this is chimchurri chicken. I know that doesn't really go with pasta, but I think it'll work. So I'm gonna cook this in the oven, and then we have the tomatoes, the spinach, olive oil, and some garlic is all going to go on the stove so that this can create a sauce. And, and we're also gonna add some lemon juice to that. Then we have these little potatoes. Um, we just made some like fingerling potatoes that were already pre-packaged to go with the salmon dish that's coming up. So Frank just did the salmon and we did a teriyaki sauce. 
and we mix that with a sweet and sour I think both of them like a sweet chili sauce I think they'll both taste really good so that's what the salmon dish is looking like so this one is already ready to go and then in this one we're gonna put chicken so I decided not to cook the salmon just like Raven and her mom um, just because I can just pop it in once I'm ready to eat and I don't want it to taste gross you know three days later Okay, so here's the chimchurri chicken done. We're gonna cut one of the breasts in strips and that will be one of the proteins. And then the other one will dice so that we can put that over the pasta. Okay, the shrimp is done and this will be the protein. Not that many shrimp, but we'll just do some veggies and uh, yams here. And then these shrimp over here, I'm gonna have these chopped up and put into the fried rice later. And for the shrimp here that are gonna be the protein, I'm gonna make a little scampi sauce for this. So I'm just gonna do olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, and make a little sauce to pour over this so it has a little more flavor. Um, and then we're roasting some uh, broccoli to go in here and also some yams will be going in there. All right, we're coming to the end. Thank God we're coming to the end. So I'm about to do the fried rice. Um, I just put some olive oil in there and I'm gonna start sauteing the onions first. I forgot to save myself a few veggies to throw in the fried rice. So I have the shrimp already cut up. Rice is finishing up cooking and um, I'm gonna throw the onions in at least and yeah, maybe steal some of the roasted broccoli and throw it in there. Hopefully it'll taste good. So yeah, I don't know. And then I think just to season the rice a little bit, I'm gonna add the soy sauce in there. So just a little bit of soy sauce as well. And unfortunately I ran out of brown rice too. Another little issue I had. So we're working with white rice, which is not that healthy. With that, we'll be only having like uh, roasted broccoli. So, and other veggies. So hopefully it's not that bad of a meal. Okay, it is like two and a half hours later, so it took me two and a half hours to make the meals. I made 20 meals, I think, or 25 meals. Um, so enough for two people for um, lunch and dinner for a week, or like Monday through Friday. So yeah. They are done. I am so excited that it's over. I honestly felt like I was like cooking for 19 kids and counting or whatever, or like I'm a dugger. Does anybody watch that show? You know, the family with like 19 kids and now all the kids are having kids. So now there's like 50 kids. <laughs> Math might be a little off. Um, but yeah, I felt like I was cooking for like literally a family of 20. But the meals are done. I'm gonna show you guys. I think they turned out really good. If you do try them, let me know down below. And if you like this type of video, definitely let me know because I think I'm gonna do some other ones with like maybe my own recipes that I come up with or um, maybe another YouTuber's recipes, but I really liked following Ravens. They're from Texas too, like me. So I kind of felt like maybe their recipes would be more up my alley, um, a little more user friendly than probably some recipes that I would get from like a Californian. These are by no means vegan. I actually don't think I use very much dairy, if any dairy really in any of the recipes, but um, I didn't use any cream or cheese products in any of my dishes. So now let me show you guys what we made. And Murray's, it's, he's been tortured, just tortured. He's been smelling all the food and not able to eat anything, so. Now it's time to eat. You excited? Oh, he's excited. <laughs> we have the finished product here. So look at this. Isn't this ridiculous? This is how many meals I made. I made, let's see, five, four, yeah, 20 meals for two people. Remember, if you're making it for yourself, you don't have to make this much, but I made it for two people. Okay, we have the shrimp scampi with the yam and the broccoli and then the yam. So I have four of those and then I have 
the chimchurri chicken with roasted potatoes and uh, Brussels sprouts. So we have two of those. Then we have four of the shrimp fried rice and I just did a mix like veggie medley to go with those. Then the lentil pasta with the olive oil lemon sauce and the chimchurri chicken and then broccoli and brussels sprouts and then we have that again with asparagus then we have two of the salmons which i didn't cook yet but they're marinating and they come with the fingerling potatoes and the asparagus as well and then finally what i first started off with the chicken fajitas and i have the cilantro lime rice and then the black bean corn and salsa little salad or whatever you want to call it mix <laughs> so yeah that is everything for two people so i think we will be good to go we will not need to eat out and for the most part be making healthy choices minus the rice dish looks a little heavy but um yeah if any of these are too much food i'll definitely just like eat a portion of it but yeah, I think we're at least on the right path to making healthy choices. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up and comment down below if you tried it yourself or you have any meal prepping um, tips and tricks because I need them all right now. So I'm about to clean up this kitchen because it's a mess and I'm gonna eat some dinner because I believe I deserve it. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.